Do you have to evaluate completely different alternatives? Do you have to accommodate distinct needs in one solution? Do you have to find consensus on conflicting ideas? For sure, you need to learn the weighted scoring method. My name is Américo Cunha. In this lesson, we'll be learning the weighted scoring method. Welcome! Let's start! The weighted scoring method is a tool to rank completely different alternatives for a problem. To choose the best suitable technology for an application. To select the most critical problem among several. First, let's see how the method works in a simple example. John needs to buy a new car, but he is very confused with so many options. He is thinking about a cheaper and full efficient model, but his family is asking for a big and fancy car. His decision involves conflicting interests that are difficult to accommodate. The question is how to find the most suitable alternative that better accommodates all family needs and desires. Let's see who is involved in the decision. John, his wife, a 10 years old boy, a 7 years old daughter, and a dog. John needs a car to drive every day to work, and monthly they visit relatives that live 100 kilometers away. It is just a day trip. The first step is to create a table with the requirements and possible alternatives. The requirements are listed in the first column. As you can see, we summarized John's needs into four major requirements. Passengers' comfort, full efficiency, monthly payments, and cargo capacity. Secondly, we need to identify alternatives. In this case, the car models John can buy. To be more illustrative, we decided to present alternatives manufactured by Ford Company. The four models are Fiesta, Focus, Edge, and Explorer. Fiesta is the smallest, cheapest, and most full efficient car. On the other side, we included the Ford Explorer, a large utility vehicle. In the middle range, we have Ford Focus and Edge. Now, the weighting and scoring table is ready for the analysis. Requirements in the lines and alternatives in the columns. The next step, we need to define which requirement is the most important, which one is the least important. The challenge is to translate the requirement importance into numeric weights. The most important requirement receives wage 5, high importance. The least important receives wage 1, low importance. Let's make some assumptions for John. John uses his car every day to work. The vehicle must be full efficient. And therefore, the requirement full efficiency receives wage 5. John considers that cargo capacity is not that important and gave wage 1 for this requirement. The remaining requirements receive intermediate weights, ranging from 2 to 4. In this example, passengers' comfort and monthly payments are graded as 3. That means that they have intermediate importance in the final decision. In the following step, we need to evaluate each alternative on each requirement. Let's start with the first alternative, Ford Fiesta. John thinks that this car satisfies partially the requirement comfort. Therefore, Fiesta receives score 1. In terms of full efficiency and payment, Fiesta receives the highest score, 5, because it is the cheapest and has the better full efficiency. For cargo capacity, Fiesta does not satisfy the needs, and it received score 0 on this requirement. After finishing the scoring for the Fiesta alternative, John needs to give scores for the remaining models. Once the scoring for all alternatives is finished, it is time to calculate the weighted score. The weighted score is calculated by multiplying the alternative score by the requirement weight. For instance, in terms of passengers' comfort, model Fiesta received score 1. The weighted score will be 3 times 1, that is 3. For full efficiency, the weighted score is 5 times 5, that comes to 25. After calculating all weighted scores for the alternative, it's possible to determine its total weighted score. The total weighted score is obtained by adding up the weighted score for each requirement. For the alternative Fiesta, the weighted score is 3 plus 25 plus 15 plus 0, that comes to 43. Now we can repeat the calculation for the remaining alternatives. It's now possible to have an idea how suitable 
the alternatives are for John's requirements. In fact, the weighted scoring method translated needs and opinions into weights and score, which helps to compare alternatives using numerical values. Let's recap. The needs and interests were translated into requirements. The requirements received weights based on the importance level. Then, the total weights to score was calculated. These made possible to compare and rank alternatives. In this case, we may assume that the alternative focus is the most suitable for John's needs. The weighted scoring method can be explained in five easy steps. First, define the objective and requirements. Second, grade each requirement importance with weights. Three, identify alternatives to achieve the objective. Four, give scores to each alternative and calculate the total weighted score. Finally, rank alternatives and interpret the results. Let's see the details of each step in the next slides. In the first step, it is crucial to define clearly the goal, and then choose requirements or criteria that are important to achieve the objective. The requirement or criteria can be qualitative or quantitative. Here, you can see some examples for business scenarios. In step two, it is time to determine the requirement's importance. Here, you have two examples of a scale. You can use a scale of high to low importance, in which you give numerical values, five to high importance and one to low importance. Another weighted scale can evaluate if the requirement is mandatory, desirable or optional. You may give scale five to mandatory requirements, three for desirables and one for the optionals. During the step three, you should focus on one alternative of the columns each time and evaluate it on each requirement of the lines. For instance, you may ask, does the alternative satisfy the requirement? In our example, we could have said, does Fiesta satisfy comfort requirements? The answer will naturally conduct to a score. In the step four, it's time to calculate the weighted score for each alternative by multiplying the score and its respective weight. After determining all alternatives weighted scores, we will be able to calculate the total weighted score for each alternative. This can be done by adding up the values in the weighted score column. This is a simple math, as you could see in the example. In the last step, we can compare the total weighted scores for all alternatives and discuss the results with the team and stakeholders. In some situations, it can be useful to repeat the method just considering the three best ranked alternatives. By doing this, you will narrow down the focus and increase consistency. Let's check now some practical business applications. This example shows how to select a technology. You can see technological alternatives in the columns and business requirements in the lines. You can evaluate each technology against each requirement and then identify the most suitable for a specific application. This example shows how to approach a supplier selection. The suppliers are placed in the columns and the company business requirements in the lines. By providing ratings, scores for each supplier, you find out the best supplier to provide the resources required. Here, you have another very common application, the buy or make decision. In the column, we have the two alternatives, buy or make. In the lines, the business requirements. By scoring the pros and cons of each alternative, you can find what is better for the company. As you could see, the weighted scoring method has several advantages. It provides a quick, easy, and constant method for evaluating distinct alternatives. It quantifies requirements and alternatives with numerical values, simplifying the assessment. It facilitates agreement on priorities. It establishes a common ground for the decision-making process. We work hard to help you to get better marks, be prepared for job interviews, and excel in work meetings. You can send your questions in the comment area below. I will be pleased to answer all of them. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Americo e-learning.